Good morning. It's Friday and the end of another week of short devotionals for Black Rock Baptist Church and also Morristown Baptist Church. We're focusing this morning on the verse of Scripture from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, which says, Christ sacrificed his life's blood to set us free, which means that our sins are now forgiven. Christ did this because God was so kind to us. Have you ever wondered who put Jesus on the cross? You know, it, it wasn't Judas. It wasn't Cephas or Pilate. It wasn't even the religious leaders who hated Jesus. It may shock you, but there are two answers to that question of who put Jesus on the cross. First, it was God. The Bible says that this was God's plan from the very beginning. It's the reason that Jesus came to earth. The Bible had predicted his death hundreds of years earlier. But the other answer is this, not just God put Jesus on Calvary's cross. The other answer is, you and I put him there. The Bible says it was God's plan, but it was also you and I who put him on the cross. You put him on the cross, and so did I. If we had never sinned, Jesus would never need to die on Calvary's cross. Romans chapter 4, verse 25 tells us that he was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. Because Jesus died on the cross, our sins are forgiven. You know, we're all imperfect. We all have sinned, and that makes us feel guilty about our past. We have regrets. But God doesn't want us to live with that guilt. That's why Jesus died. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 tells us that Christ sacrificed his own life's blood to set us free, which means that our sins are now forgiven. Christ did this because God was so kind to us. Guilt wastes the time of en- or, or a lot of energy, a ton of energy. It wears us out. It, it robs us of our peace of mind. Too many believers are saved, but you know what? They don't act like it. They're full of shame and full of guilt. It, it dominates everything they do. They believe in Jesus, yes, but they haven't been set free from the condemnation of sin. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 tells us there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. No condemnation means God doesn't judge you for all the things you've done wrong if you've trusted in Jesus Christ. He took your punishment on the cross. God doesn't have to condemn you because Jesus took your condemnation. That's what Easter is all about, friend. You're forgiven. Jesus died for you and for me. We can live life with hope and no condemnation. We're free. Happy Easter. Enjoy your weekend with your family. I hope you'll be out to your worship services this Sunday as we celebrate the risen Christ. Until then, have a wonderful weekend, and let's continue to exchange prayers daily. God bless.